This is my Helix Roller, and I designed and built this because in physics class, one of the hardest things to wrap your head around is how different reference frames move with respect to each other. So here we have X and Y fixed in the ground, and we have X and Y fixed on the Helix. Now, this part allows us to have a third reference frame which has X and Y and Z coming out of the roller. So the way this works is first you put each roller onto the rod and because of this slant here, the rollers always want to go into the rod and that keeps the whole structure stable while it's rolling. So we insert the rod here in the base and it slides right in. So this helix comes up and you can see that it just slides right on top of the base. And as you raise the base carefully, everything falls into place. And now as you twist the helix, the rod falls down and the rollers move as well. Now, it might not be as smooth or as reliable as if this had gear teeth, but creating those gear teeth would have been way too much. A lot of derivations for a gear that wouldn't really have any practical use. So this is how it works and Maybe on the other side, you can see better that the roller will fall down relative to the motion of the helix.